Today I will be opening up Hamster Mail. Um, this is a combination of three months, I believe. But I will be honest, I filmed this video at first and I did not like how it came out. So here I am redoing this video. So I have two things to mention before I start showing everything. First is since I've already tried refilm, well I've already tried filming this. Um, I've already taken everything I saw of the box. I just didn't really like how the video came out. So here I am refilming it. But I already took everything out of the box, so it's not in the box right now. But I also haven't taken anything out of the package. So everything is still in the, um, this original packaging is still closed. And then the next thing I was going to mention is, I don't know which month goes to which item anymore. So there's that as well. And just because I had so many months of boxes come in at once and it's now on the card, that I have no idea which one I'm actually opening. So now that I got that like on the side or whatever or mentioned, I will one just get right on that I have here is the Herbie Trio um, Herbs. It has dried parsley and dill. And it's also high in fiber. Parsley stalks, dill stalks, camille flowers. Um, which is actually pretty perfect for me because I'm actually kind of low on mines and I love being able to have new herbs or just more things um, for more foraging to put inside the rhinos enclosure. We also have here the Wacky Wobbler. It says small pests need to maintain and love to chew. So our wobbling coconut shell, corn leaf, and twisted paper towel is an ideal boring breaker. So here's just the chew. It's actually really cute. <laughs> And I actually think Rhino would love to play with this. So it just has a coconut shell at the bottom. And then of course, as you can see, it's just something to keep them occupied. And I think he would actually enjoy it because while he's messing with it, it's constantly moving around. We also have here is the apple slices. So this is just dried apple slices. Um, of course, you can literally make this at home yourself. I actually have a lot of these still but rhino actually like really loves dried apples and like dried bananas and just things like that so i'm actually happy to be able to have some more for him the Ruli's crispy slices says this is from the brand rosewood and it says we take nutritious nutritious orange and yellow carrots chicory and celery root and then slice and carefully dry them to produce our naturally crisp and crunchy slices so of course you can give these to your hamster you can give these to your guinea pigs as well. Um, it's just a nice treat for them. It actually looks like dried carrots to me. <laughs> so I will try these out. I think Ron will actually like this. I don't know why, but he loves stuff like this. So hopefully he really enjoys eating these. I also have here another um, boredom breaker. This is the Nature's First Grassy Carrot. And it's just a treat toy for your hamster. Um, you can literally just hang this up in your enclosure and give to them. Or you can even give to your rabbits or guinea pig if you like it. It is just hay, which is perfectly okay. Chubbs, my previous hamster, used to have this, but he actually stopped using it. So maybe Ryan would like to use it. I'm not quite sure, but it wouldn't hurt to try out. We also have here the Tropical Hideaway. Um, natural coconut hide filled to the brim with yummy plantain hibiscus flowers and sunflower petals. This is actually really cute and nice. I, I really can't wait to have Rhino try this and use this in there. I've never had something like this before. So I think this would be like really nice and different. So hopefully he enjoys it as much as I'm hoping that he will. The Easter Nest, a compliment, complimentary feed for hamsters. 100% edible nest made from tasty grass filled with beautiful marigold and sunflower petals topped with three roast hip eggs with a hidden layer of scrumptious apple. And here is how this looks. Um, I'm actually, I'm really excited with a lot of things that I had gotten in these month's boxes. I feel like Rhino's going to absolutely love everything. And I really just can't wait for it, um, me to finally be able to see him so that I can like try out with him because I work at night, so I'm obviously not able to see him most of the time now. We have here is the Desert Island Popcorn. This is a tasty treat. It's a mixture of crunchy popcorn, yummy unsweetened banana, and a sprinkling of tropical coconut 
the perfect treat to keep your pet coming back for more. <laughs> I've always wanted to try popcorn for my hamster. Um, I've always thought that it would be a nice treat to give to them. Um, obviously, don't feed this that much. Just do it occasionally as a treat. You can even use this as a way to hand feed um, if you're taming your hamster. Because usually when you're hand feeding your hamster and you're trying to tame them, you want to use something that's a bit more bigger. So those will actually be a really good size for them. And here is something that I've never seen before. I never heard of the brand either. This is the Simply Nibbles Tropical Fruit Cushions. Crunchy treat with the real fruit fillings and added vitamins. When I first saw this, I noticed that the color was green. So I did check the ingredients because if it's green, more than likely there's hay in it. And if you don't know, hamsters don't really need hay. It doesn't get, well, they don't need it for like, for their diet. It doesn't get absorbed into their system. So it does have hay in here. It has 6.5% of Timothy hay. So if you do decide to use these for your pet, do keep that in mind that it does have Timothy hay in here and quite a bit at that. I'm like really getting through this. <laughs> here we have another boredom breaker. This is the salsa garland. And obviously it has a hook right here. So you can just hang this up into your pet's enclosure and they can chew at this as much as they want. I don't think Ronald's actually gonna use this. Um, something about it makes me think he's probably not gonna be a big chewer on this one, but it doesn't hurt to give him different textures. So you usually wanna give your hamster different variety options when it comes down to being something to chew on. Here we also have another boiler breaker. This is the Woody's Play Carrots. It says fun gnaws for rabbits, hamsters, and small other animals. <laughs> it's just small carrot chews. And because they're round, I actually definitely don't think Rhino will use this. I've noticed that a lot of hamsters like or don't prefer to chew on things that are more rounded. And the last thing that we have here is the natural It's the Naturals Trio of Fun of fun Balls in size medium. So this is just shoes, toys, basically like a whole bunch of different little balls that they can use. Ash. Yes. Um, since these, since these are so big, are so big, I, I think I'm going to give Rhino one of these when he's out on floor time. When he's out on floor time. Then obviously I will probably more than likely give Ash one as well, just because these are like really huge. I don't think I would actually put these inside the enclosure. So that is everything. So that is everything for my um, hamster mail subscription. And like I mentioned, it's a combination of three different boxes. So I don't know which one, which items go to which month but i'm absolutely really happy and thrilled with everything that i got and i actually can't wait to use everything and ash is back there meowing so i'm just gonna wrap this video up here if you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe and also ring that bell and be sure to leave a thumbs up and comment down below on your favorite thing that you've got in your hamster subscription mail if you have used it before and thank you all so much for watching and i will hopefully see you all in my next week's video bye